And back over to the Ronster, Ron Matz, good morning. Good morning on this historic day, Don and Marty. We're at the National Great Blacks and Wax Museum, East North Avenue, East Baltimore. We were here for Eyewitness News Sunday morning edition just a few weeks ago to talk with our friend Dr. Joanne Martin, talking about the unveiling coming up of the unveiling of the Barack Obama statue. It happened yesterday at Morgan State University, and we hear it was fabulous. It was truly fabulous. It was amazing. We had all these young performers and, and you know, just being able to make that connection between the past and the present through our youth. Um, we had an uh, auditorium. The Gilliam Auditorium was filled with people who came on buses from Indiana and Texas and um, it was truly amazing. What was their reaction when they first saw the statue? Because when I saw it this morning, I just went, wow. <laughs> That, that was their reaction, and that's, we were definitely going for the wow factor. This was one that we definitely had to get right. Let's talk about how long it took to do this and who did it. We, um, we work with a team of uh, sculptors, um, and, and we work the, on the team. Um, there is always at least one master sculptor for us. Um, uh, there were at least three. Um, there was a costumer, um, someone who is, uh, mixes the paint um, to get the color right. Um, someone who weaves in the hair. Um, so it, it is definitely a team effort. And then the other side of it for us is pulling together the scene um, so that we frame the, the person's um, accomplishments within the context of history. Now, for, for those out there who want to come to the National Great Blacks and Wax Museum to see, to see this statue. Um, well, we definitely, we're here on, um, uh, at 1601 East North Avenue. We're open, um, in, let's see, we open six days a week in uh, in Black History Month. We're open seven days a week, um, from nine to six. Um, Sundays from noon to six. So we are accessible. We say, come on down. And a lot of people come on down, Donna Marty. Give us the figures. How many people visit this museum every year? We have upwards of 150,000 to 175,000 people who visit now, and and that's um, after 25 years of yeah. uh, history. I wanted to mention that. Props to Dr. Joanne Martin and your husband for, for starting this in 1983, right? Yes, yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And congratulations on the statue. Thank you very much. Good to see you. All right, Don and Marty, on this historic day, the 44th President of the United States to be inaugurated, oh, in less than six hours from now. Back to you on TV. Hill. You know, Ron, you know, let me, can I just put this in perspective? Uh, sure. This occurred to me last night. Okay, Barack Obama will take the oath of office. They'll play hail to the chief. And then he will address the nation. These may be the most anticipated words since yeah. Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon. And you know, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I think everyone is waiting for his inaugural address. Absolutely. Yeah, th this is, as, as this day dawns, as we're now an hour and a half or so into our work day, the, the gravity of this day sure. is power. You can feel it. And it's, it's a good thing. Yeah. It's good gravity. It really is. It's a good yeah. karma. Sure. Yeah. You heard me say earlier, I get in the urge. I, I should be there. Yeah. I mean, there's, there, there's, the really, there, there's something yeah. going on. And folks, once you get out and start moving about, you'll feel it. There's something going yeah. on today. There's, good there's electricity in the air today everywhere you go. Yep. Yeah, you do. All right, bud. All it's right. good to be back down there. We, we, yes, we, it is. Got him, Marty. And it will not be long before we return. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye. See you. All right. The Outlets News Morning Edition will continue right after this. You're watching complete inauguration coverage on WJZ, Maryland's news station.